five weeks in. We named her Zena, and she is eating. So happy to see this. Yay. Good morning. We're going to Home Depot right now. We're gonna get some more vegetables. We just started our garden. We're really excited about that. We're gonna show you what we already have planted and how you can build your yeah. own planter. Super yeah. simple. We're gonna do it together. So come along with us. Let's do it. Home Depot. And this is where we get our plants. I made it back home so this is the planter we have right now this is what glenn built so we have squash tomatoes this is a red bell pepper this is another tomato another squash or it might be zucchini yeah that's zucchini and then um that's what we got today strawberries we have basil right here we have mint and this one we did a little experiment. We actually got a little black tomato from the LA County Fair. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Really sweet man was doing hydroponics and he gave us a black tomato. So we ended up just planting those seeds in here. So we'll see if anything pops up. And these are the new plants we're gonna be putting in our new Hunter. We ended up getting hot banana peppers, cilantro, parsley, oregano, jalapeno, lavender, and strawberries. The sun is down. A lot more cooler. We're gonna get our second planter built. With a few simple tools, hopefully you have laying around the house. I usually have a skill saw. I left it up my job site, so I'm using a chainsaw. Anything you can use, a cut, a simple line. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. So I wanted to mention, this is all scrap wood from previous job. Most homeowners have, you know, scrap stuff laying around. It's an old fence. This is the siding I made for someone. So, but if you don't have any scrap wood, I bet you can find some on offer up <laughs> or let go for free. The first thing that I like to do is make these planks. Here, we need pieces like this. One here, one right here. Okay, so 
I'm going to make some of those. If you have a skill saw, this would probably be a lot faster and a lot cleaner, but it actually doesn't matter if it needs to be clean or not because it's a planter, it just needs to hold dirt. Don't even need a tape measure, just need a pencil. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, six of them. One more. I probably wouldn't wear flip flops using a chainsaw and stuff, but I'm a trained professional. <laughs> That's why I try not to throw everything away, because eventually I want to be able to use it for something. that part. Mm, six equal parts. I won't say equal, but yeah, six parts. Yeah, it doesn't need to be. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. You want your pieces to fit kind of good. Do that two more times. I'm trying to squeeze, squeeze the boards together with your feet. As you can tell, this is a pretty simple and quick way to do something for a planner. Instead of spending, I don't know, probably 50. 60 bucks on some type of pre-made planner. Okay. Now, choose which one you want it to be your bottom, which should be the strongest one. You want to put this side down. Okay, it's like a footing. Eh, we'll keep that as a side. I feel like this is the strongest one. It might not be because of that knot. So we'll use that Maybe one. this one in yeah. the middle. Now, what we need to do is I like to make a piece. Actually, I need to get it, make another one of those side pieces. Look at that line. This is straight one, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. The basis. You're holding it. We're gonna cut. Cut, cut, cut. Just kidding. That's not funny. That go there? That go there? Last time I did this by myself, it wasn't that easy.
That was a fail. <laughs> Try that one more time. <laughs> that was funny. Don't worry if they flop out like that because we're going to be screwing all that in. We just want to secure each side first. Get this in here. I want to do each side. It has to lay on the side here. That's the most important part, I think, is to make sure that these end parts are solid because it's pushing out that way. And this way too, so on this one, you'll notice when we have our organite on it, but I did put a support in the center. So that's what we're gonna do. There it is, one simple, Scrap planner done in 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes. Screw, a screw, a screw gun, a screw loose, and a chainsaw. Uh, I recommend not using a chainsaw. That's just the only thing I have right now because, like I said, I'm a contractor and I do a lot of work and I have a big job right now, big project, and everything's over there. So that's what I had. So now we're gonna fill it up with dirt and put our beautiful plants in. Yay. We had a pot from a while back. So we put our strawberries in this one. You know, if you want any of that to sprout off your plants, you need to have them pollinated. And the bees are the ones that do that. I'm pretty sure you know that. So you gotta find flowers that attract the bees. So we got we chose the lavender. We noticed that at the Home Depot the lavender was swarming with bees. So that's why we did that. It's heavy. In total with uh, five or six plants plus the soil, it was 50 bucks. So oh. just spread your dirt evenly. Like we just did. Yep. I do want to point out one thing, depending on how uh, long the screws you use, they do stick out right here. Okay, so be careful. You can get some, some dikes, some cutters, and cut them off if you want. I might do that when I bring my tools here. This is the placement we have right now. Let's see if we can put this in a different part. What do you think? So we can give these things more room. Give it room okay. and grow. Do we have another? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. the pot in the house. Oh, there are plenty of pots right there. Okay. They're right so, there. All right. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and put these in dirt. For our bee attraction, attractor, it's gonna be right here. Good old lavender. Who doesn't like lavender? Yeah. Soothes the mind, it relaxes you. You could smoke it, you could burn it, you could burn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one has roots coming out, so it's been wanting to get out of this thing. It comes. This thing has been suffocating. If you ever get to a plant that's like this, it's suffocating. This is too much for it. Not enough space. It's gonna love this. Oh yeah. Try to get it centered a little. Yeah. Under a little neck. more. Give it a lot of space. New home, not Home Depot. <laughs> we 
Okay. Beautiful. Yep. Mint. Yeah, it's already growing yeah. from when we planted it. Yeah. That was a few days ago and it's already gotten a little taller. It says organic on it. Yeah, these are all it's organic. All, it's all going to be organic, no matter what. Even if it doesn't say organic on it, once you start taking care of it. Yeah, it try, follows, your, you know? try your best to stick to organic. Yeah. But if you, don't, if you can't find an organic plant, you know, it's just meaning there's no pesticides and natural stuff. Just keep it that way. We're not going to spray anything on these things unless if we do find some type of aphid or something, we'll probably get to like neem oil or something that's natural to uh, to chase them away. What if, if you see ants trying to get to your planter, I like to spray around your planter. Don't spray into the planter. Don't spray it on the planter. Spray around the planter where they're coming from and they'll still, they'll stop. They'll disappear, but don't let them start a colony in your planter because that'll be bad. Can we beat this stuff? Maybe we'll update you guys once we have some fruit other than tomatoes. I hope this video was educational for you. <laughs> Something simple. A wonderful way to support yourself, support your family. It's very empowering to be able to cook meals and not just that, but go to your garden and pick organic vegetables. Don't rely on the stores when the prices are high yeah. and there's a food shortage. Sometimes you can't even find something. It sucks. Exactly. So grow it so, yourself. Grow your own food. And uh, save money by using scrap wood. I'm telling you, you can find scrap wood on OfferUp or, or let go. People are like, free, come pick it up. And then you can build yourself a planner yeah. and make money with it's the free wood. Really not that hard, inexpensive. No. Start out small and then build your way up. Yep, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was educational. Give it a like, please subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing from us. See you on the next one. See you guys, bye. bye.